A contra dance series may be fairly new in Bemidji, but people are still flocking to the dance floor. For this week's In Focus, Haiti Clotter shows us how one dance brings the community together. The Rail River Folk School was the dance floor for Bemidji's community contra dance series. For those who wanted fun, lively, and social dancing, it was a place to be. Unlike square dancing, you don't have to take lessons first. Nobody goes to contra dance lessons. They just show up to a contra dance. Wendy Greenberg has been dancing and calling contra dances for more than 20 years. She teaches the participants all the moves that's done to live music. In some dances, a lot of people already know what they're doing and the caller has to just teach a little and get on with it. And in other dances, uh, not too many people know what they're doing yet and the caller has to teach quite a lot. First timers are always welcome. <laughs> Earlier in the day, there was a musician workshop for local artists to learn how to play for contra dances. One reason for the dance series is to help increase the popularity in Bemidji. Ashlyn Daly recently moved to the area. She says the contra dances have introduced her to new friends and it's a good way to exercise. It's just a really good way to spread the arts. Also, just there's not a lot of dancing places where everyone can go and just dance even though you don't know how to dance the dance. Contra dance is for people of any age, but you'll need a partner. A colleague recommended contra dancing to Joanne and John Henningsgard and they decided to try it out for the first time. They plan on coming back for more. I think we will strongly consider it, yeah, and we might even try to recruit some friends or something. It's a fun, fun experience. This is the third of six dances that continue until December. The dance series is made possible through a grant from the Region 2 Arts Council. If you can walk in time to music, you can contra dance. For this week's In Focus, in Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.